Hi students, this is Anita Raj welcoming you for one more session in Electrochemistry. In this session, we shall see some important question series from very important topics uh, coming under Electrochemistry based on which you can prepare for your board and other competitive exams. Not wasting your time, let me start with the questions now. Read the first question students. The conductance of a solution of an electrolyte is equal to that of its specific conductance. The cell constant of the conductivity cell is equal to resistance faraday zero unity see here in this question they have given that conductance of the solution and the specific conductance of the solutions are equal and they are asking you to find out the cell constant as we know that spe con uh, specific conductance and uh, uh, conductance can be uh, related by this formula specific conductance is represented by the term kappa it is uh, equal to c conductance into g g is nothing but it is the cell constant see in the in the question it is given that conductance and specific conductance are equal so when you are dividing when you are dividing this uh, kappa that is specific conductance by conductance it will be if they are equal it will be equal to 1 if so this formula becomes this will become that is uh, 1 is, is equal to g is it not that is cell constant will be equal to unity so the option D is correct. Understood students? Read the next question. Which of the following decreases on dilution of the electrolytic solution? See, we are diluting the electrolytic solution and they are asking you to uh, find out which parameter will be decreasing. Either it is molar conductance or equivalent conductance or specific conductance or cell, cell constant. Obviously, specific conductance will be decreasing. You know the reason why? Why it is decreasing? Because uh, when you are uh, this specific conductance depends upon the specific conductance depends upon the number of ions present in unit volume of a solution. See all the other components that is molar conductance, equivalent conductance will be calculating for the whole solution. Whereas here specific conductance alone will be uh, finding out the conductance in a particular volume that is unit volume. Okay. So when you are diluting the solution, automatically the number of so, uh, ions present in unit volume of the solution solution will be decreasing understood so that's why specific conductance is the uh, parameter which decreases on dilution of the electrolyte so option c is correct read the next question students which of the condition is correct for operation of an electrochemical cell see uh, four options were given in all the four options we are having free energy change value and emf value so they are asking you to find out the correct option right see here uh, in an electrochemical cell always redox reaction takes place what do you mean by redox reaction uh, both reduction and oxidation reaction takes place okay see for any redox reaction uh, uh, to occur spontaneously the free energy change will be negative understood so free energy change whenever a redox reaction or a electrochemical reaction is taking place or some reaction is taking place spontaneously the free energy change will be negative okay it will be a negative value see here this free energy is related to emf of the cell by uh, if by using a formula that is delta g is equal to minus n f e okay what is minus n f e see this n rep n represents the number of electrons participating in the particular reaction f represents the faraday and e represents the uh, emf value okay uh, here this emf see if you want to have this delta g as a negative value emf value should be a positive understood so e value should be positive if e value is positive it is emf value should be a positive value if so if delta g is negative that means it is lesser than zero if emf value is positive then it should be greater than zero check the option students which option is correct now see option b option b shows that that delta g is lesser than zero and emf value is greater than zero is it not so option b is correct understood students the next question the standard E0 reduction values of A, B and C are plus 0.68 volt, minus 0.254 volt, minus 0.50 volt respectively. The order of their reducing power is, see here, uh, the reduction potential, standard reduction potential values of three metals were given, A, B, C were given as a plus value and two minus values, okay. And they are asking you to find out the order of the reducing power, that means from the greater okay which is the having the highest reducing power see as we know from electrochemical series that the metal which is having the least reduction potential will be having the highest reducing power so least the metal which is having the least reduction potential will be able to
to lose more number of it will be able to lose uh, more number of more number of electrons more number of electrons understood it can lose more number of electrons if so it will be having the highest reducing power okay it will be having the highest reducing power understood students so check here which metal is having the least reduction potential see the second metal that is b metal b is having the least reduction potential so it will be having the highest it will be having the highest reducing power what comes next c is it not so next will be c c is the metal which is having the highest reduction reducing power next comes a so check which which option is having that one so option d is having this right so option d is correct understood students read the question students the resistance of n by 10 solution is found to be 2.6 into 10 to the power 3 ohms the equivalent conductance of the solution is the cell constant is equal to 1.26 centimeter minus 1 so in this problem the resistance is given that is 2.6 into 10 to the power 3 ohms and the concentration of the solution is given that is normality n by 10 and the cell constant is also given let us write the data first g cell constant is equal to 1.26 centimeter minus 1 okay resistance it is 2.6 into 10 to the power 3 ohms right and then what else is given concentration normality is given that is n by 10 what is n by 10 it is 0 0.1 normal understood students and they are asking you to calculate the equivalent conductance how to find out equivalent conductance what is the formula for calculating the equivalent conductance kappa that is specific conductance into 1000 divided by n understood students but here we don't have uh, the specific conductance kappa so that we want to find out that can be calculated from resistance understood so what is the formula uh, which relates uh, kappa with resistance kappa is equal to 1 by r see 1 by r into cell constant understood so what is 1 by r 1 divided by 2.6 into 10 to the power 3 into what is cell constant 1.26 is it not so what is the value students find out it is 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 4 okay what could be the unit now see for ohms for uh, for uh, r it is ohms okay for r it is ohms r is equal to ohms right for cell constant for cell constant it is cm minus 1 is it not so since it we are writing this r in the denominator it's, we, we can write the unit as o minus 1 okay inverse right o minus 1 centimeter minus 1 understood now right okay so how to calculate equivalent conductance equivalent conductance is equal to kappa into 1000 is it not what is kappa now 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 1000 divided by 0.1 understood now uh, when you are simplifying these values when you are simplifying see this this thousand it is so when you are simplifying this becomes 4.8 okay what is the unit now see here already we are having o minus 1 is it not r value the kappa value o minus 1 centimeter minus 1 for this one for this thousand thousand by that is liter is it not it is so amount so we can we can write as centimeter cube right centimeter cube by equivalent so when you are simplifying this this becomes we can cancel this and you can write as ohm minus 1 centimeter square equi minus okay minus 1 understood so this is the unit ohm minus 1 see units are very important you'll be getting marks for that okay so be careful while writing the units right so this is the answer understood students so option uh, uh, d is correct okay 4.8 ohm minus 1 centimeter square equi minus 1 understood okay read the next question students the standard electrode potentials of nickel silver and copper are minus 0.25 volts plus 0 0.80 volt plus 0 0.34 volt respectively then see they are asking you to find out whether silver can oxidize nickel and copper or uh, silver can reduce nickel and copper or nickel can reduce silver and copper or copper can oxidize nickel and silver see here the reduction potential values are given okay first let us take and write see what is nickel value it is nickel value is minus 0.25 uh, and then uh, silver value is plus 0.80 
okay and then what else is given copper is it not copper value is plus 0.34 okay now we are supposed to find out which option is correct right so normally the metal with least reduction potential will be acting as anode in an electrochemical cell okay please listen carefully the metal which is having the least redu reduction potential will be acting as the anode in an electrochemical cell so and in anode normally oxidation takes place so anode oxidation okay anode oxidation in an electrochemical cell okay it takes place ox that means it will be releasing electrons okay that means it will release electrons since it is undergoing oxidation it will release electrons that means it will reduce it will reduce other metals it will reduce other metals understood the metal which is undergoing oxidation will be releasing electrons and the, those electrons will be used up by other metals to get reduced okay so now check here nickel is having the least reduction potential so that will be acting as the anode so nickel can reduce see here all the other values are higher values so nickel can reduce silver and copper that is the correct answer okay so option c is correct understood students options read the question students a strong oxidizing agent has a high value of reduction potential or a high value of oxidation potential or a low value of reduction potential or a high tendency to lose electrons see according to emf series or electrochemical series the metal which is having a high positive high value of reduction po potential it will be acting as a very good oxidizing agent understood it will be acting as a very good oxidizing agent that means it can accept electrons it can accept electrons understood it can under, uh, accept electrons so which option is correct now high value of reduction potential means so this one option a the metal which is having the or the substance which is having the high value of reduction potential will be acting as a strong oxidizing agent understood students read the question students if the specific resistance of a solution of concentration c gram equivalent per liter is capital r then its equivalent conductance is see they are given that specific conduct specific resistance specific resistance is given okay specific specific resistance value is given right so specific resistance value is capital r and the concentration is also given concentration given is c capital c they are asking you to find out the equivalent conductance okay what is the equivalent conductance so how no, normally what is the formula which gives relates equivalent conductance with the concentration and other terms so lambda equivalent is equal to kappa that is specific conductance into 1000 divided by concentration okay so how to calculate specific conductance what is specific conductance kappa is equal to 1 by r okay 1 by r right specific conductance so reciproc reciprocal of specific resistance is uh, specific conductance understood now we are going to substitute this value here that is equal to 1000 1000 divided by r into c so lambda equivalent so this is the answer understood student so which option is correct now option c is not 1000 by rc is correct the question students which of the following is the correct representation of a galvanic cell see four options were given uh, four uh, cell representations were given you are asked you are asked to find out the uh, correct representation of a galvanic cell see here uh, for us uh, i'll give a trick first loan what do you mean by loan l stands for left hand side okay this is applicable only for electrochemical cell okay electrochemical o represents oxidation okay and a stands for anode and n stands for negative okay so that means if, if an electrode is acting as an anode it will be placed as a, a left hand side electrode and always oxidation will be taking place and it will be the negative electrode understood so the metal which is having the least reduction potential the which is having the 
least reduction potential will be acting as the anode if so that will be present on the left hand side see here we are we have been provided with two electrodes is it not zinc and silver out of uh, zinc out of these two zinc is having the least reduction potential that means that will be acting as the anode so that will be placed on the left hand side as we know that anodes will be placed on the left hand side zinc will be acting as the left hand side electrode so first according to the cell representation rule the anode will be placed first next comes the anodic solution that is zn2 plus that is electrode anode will be immersed in the electrolyte zn2 plus then comes the salt bridge then next we will be having the electrolytic solution of the cathodic part okay cathodic solution right so what is the cathode here ag so ag plus that is the solution and next comes so the silver that is the electrode cathode so this is the correct cell representation check which option is having this representation students option b is it not zn zn2 plus salt bridge ag plus ag is it not so option b is correct understood students so it's an easy question which of the following statement is wrong about salt bridge see what is the salt bridge actually say it's a it's an inverted u tube is it not it's an inverted u tube filled with a concentrated solution of potassium chloride or potassium nitrate or ammonium nitrate in agar agar gel okay so uh, that uh, that cause a substance will be uh, compact in this inverted u tube and that acts as the salt bridge what is the role of a salt bridge actually it avoids liquid junction potential okay of course it avoids the liquid junction potential it maintains electrical neutrality obviously it el maintains electrical neutrality that is correct because for continuous electric supply or the for the continuous flow of electrons we are in need of this salt bridge if the salt bridge is removed automatically the cell stops working okay the cell potential drops to zero when the salt bridge is suddenly removed see all these three are correct obviously it uh, uh, avoids liquid junction potential maintains electrical conductivity and the cell potential drops to zero what about the last one salt bridge is used in both electrolytic and electrochemical cell no it is wrong because salt bridge are used only in electrochemical cells and not on in electrolytic cells understood student so option d is correct this is the this is the wrong statement Last question: The unit of equivalent conductance is. See, they are asking you to find out the equal, uh, unit of equivalent conductance. Okay, so as I told you earlier, e units are very important in physical chemistry. So, what is equivalent conductance? Equivalent conductance is equal to kappa into thousand divided by n. Okay, what is kappa? What is the unit for kappa? It is ohm minus one centimeter minus one. Okay, centimeter minus one. Now for thousand, so we can write as centimeter cube, and for equivalent, it is equi minus one. So when you are simplifying this, we will be getting o minus one centimeter square equi minus one. So option which is which option is having this answer? O minus one centimeter square equi minus one. Okay, so now so this is the correct option. Fine, students. Hope you might have understood all the MCQs clearly. We shall meet with an interesting topic in the next session. Until then, it's Antaraj, your chemistry mentor, signing off from you. Thanks for watching.